You want to hit sills, make stuff look nice, wrap around buildings. Got to get yourself a stick with lines on it. Tell you what though, trying to do this whole mitered barn, whole thing's mitered. Not a corner board to be found. A little trim around the doors, term miters in the windows. I got to lay it out. I'm going to explain it, I guess. I'll explain it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll explain it. So if you take a stick and put your ideal exposure, mine for instance is three and a half, and I'll use it so that I can evenly divide spaces. So say I want to make my siding start at the water table and end at the bottom of the sill. I don't want to have to notch around the sill, I just want nice clean lines. You take your swing stick and you lay it at the bottom of where the first course starts and you tip it until you get one of your tick marks to match up to where you want the last course to end. And I'm gonna tip it until that tick mark lines up with the sill, then I'll transfer those marks, and then I measure the distance between the marks. Right here, I'm just gonna make them a little bit bigger so they're easier to see. But once they're there, you just measure it. So now you know exactly how many courses and the exposure to start at the water table and land exactly at the bottom of the sill. Now you can either snap chalk lines, like I'm trying to show here, or you can make a story pole. Story pole is just taking those transferred marks and putting it on a large stick or pole that you can move around the building. So then you're not having to do this multiple times. So it's the exact same operation again. You take the bottom of your swing stick, line it up with where your last course ended, and then tip it until you have one of the ticks line up with where you want the next set to end. So here I'm tipping it. Last course was at the sill, and I want it to end exactly at the top of the window. Same situation, just make the marks a little bit bigger to see, but I'll transfer them to my story pole. And then you can take your story pole and hang it on either side of the building, snap chalk lines between it, transfer, move it all around the building. It just reduces the ability to make mistakes. That's a swing stick. My ideal exposure is three and a half. Sometimes to hit from, say, the drip edge to the bottom of the windowsill, I was just hanging everything at three and seven sixteenths. But then to go between one of my uh, shorter windows, I actually end up having to uh, to shrink the exposure, and I think I shrunk that down to. So why the hell do you need to use a swing stick? You don't. All a swing stick does is it uniformly divides the space between two elements. It's just a way to go, you know, primo primo. Any of those other like commercial guides, you gotta put shims in there, or uh, you know, you just let it be what it is, which is fine.